you are considering to purchase a property in Germany or a piece of real estate, um, then of course you have seen during the Corona crisis what has happened to all the other assets out there. Everything has dropped significantly and we are in the middle or at the beginning of a worldwide recession. The Corona virus is just the trigger that has caused the recession and we as Berlin and Leipzig and Magdeburg real estate agents are considering or planning to have a worldwide recession for the next few years. This is not a th short term effect. Many, many people will lose their jobs. We're all hoping it won't happen like it was in 1929, which you all know out of history. We had a global depression on a recession. So this recession will last a few years because um, many, many people have lost their job and will lose their job today. It's the uh, 19th of March, 2020. So we're just at the beginning. Uh, we as brokers are still working from home. Uh, we, are, we are doing virtual tours for you. So you as a buyer can, can work from home, uh, ask us to send you YouTube videos of these properties we are marketing. So there's still a business happening. So the big question for you as a property buyer in Germany, even you're buying it for yourself or as an investment, is what's happening to the prices in the Corona crisis or in the global recession? First of all, you should look what has happened during all the last 60 to 70 years in any recession in Germany to the property market. This property market has been stable. So we had not a massive price fall for properties, regardless of real estate, regardless if it is a new or an old building. So prices in Germany on property are very, very conservative, very stable. If you are a frequent listener to our YouTube channel or our Instagram posts or our blogs or website, you can see that we have been advising our investors since 2018, do not expect growth rates like we had in the last couple of 10 years, where you have basically doubled or tripled the, uh, the investment you've done in Berlin or in other German cities. So please be conservative. Consider as a buyer that prices will be stable. The growth rates we are anticipating over the next decade are between 3 to maximum 5% a year. Uh, why is that? First of all, the cost of construction is not less. The cost of construction will always be high because you need people on the construction who are working for you and the, the materials are very, very expensive. We don't see in a recession that the materials will be cheaper. We don't see that people uh, are cheaper in their wages. What we are seeing on the construction side, especially when you look on the new build, that the costs for the new build will actually go up. Why is that? If you're an investor and if you want to purchase an apartment, you want to rent out to other people, please be aware. All the new builds, there will be a massive boom on the new builds because there are no other alternatives, especially in Berlin. In Berlin, all the old buildings, so everything before 2014, are part or uh, um, are falling under the rent ceiling or the rent freeze. That means that you only can ask for a very small rent for your property. So if you're looking to purchase a new build in Berlin, please be realistic. Make sure you're speaking to your letting management agent on the ground that you're having realistic rents. However, as more and more people are coming to the city, and this will really happen in the recession regardless, because Berlin offers a great lot of jobs, especially for the for the prop techs, the fintechs, so everything that will happen in the, during the World War Recession, there will be many, many tenants out there searching for an apartment to rent. And if there are no other apartments to rent, they will rent new builds and there they will pay the premium. So please, if you are buying in Berlin, consider rising prices for new builds and also consider rising rents. Of course, the rises will be less than we had in the past, but there will be rises. And let's be fair, what other alternatives you're having as an investor except property? Property is something you can buy in worst case scenario, you hold it for 10 years and the tenant is paying off the mortgage for you and you sell it to the price in 10 years tax free in Germany. So this is still out there. So please don't panic, be realistic, focus on what you can buy. So this is the new build sector, which I strongly advise you looking at the new build sector. If you are a foreign investor in Germany, because it's easier for you, you don't have so many restrictions and we anticipate a strong rise in prices and a strong rise in rents uh, compared to any other investment class we are looking at at the moment. I'm not saying strong to the last past year, 10 years, but for the next 10 years. And I still think this property in Germany, especially in, in major cities, you're well off. If you now look on uh, existing apartments, so all the old buildings we're having in Berlin or in other cities, your investment is part to the rent ceiling or that we call that 
the average rent we're having in, in all over Germany. There will be further restrictions for you as a buyer, uh, what rent you can ask for these kind of apartments, but it's also much, much, much cheaper for you to invest in. So if you're an investor in an existing apartment in Berlin, which you want to rent out, yes, the rents are very low, but the purchase price is also much lower than a new build. So you are profiting on the day you're purchasing that apartment from a much lower purchase price. So please get personal advice from us um, or for your broker you're using in Germany and get advice on what rents you can ask for, if they are legally okay or not. Uh, please expect further restrictions to rents in Germany, even though the rent ceiling will fall. We think there will be another law. So please make sure the rent is realistic on all departments and please make sure that the purchase price you're having is realistic and it's reflected by receiving less rents. The big advantage for you as a foreign investor in Germany or international investor, buy to let investor, if you want to buy an existing apartment in, in Germany, uh, is that the rents are less, but if the tenant leaves this apartment, and if it's an apartment you could sell to someone who wants to live there themselves, own an occupier, you will get a huge premium for that apartment because there's simply no supply out there. And thanks to the local politicians we're having, especially in the city of Berlin, where there's basically no affordable housing out there, this will not change. So every tenant out there is trying to buy their own apartment if they have the funds and this will continue. So you are well off if you get a low purchase price for an existing apartment. It's yes a low return, low yields, but once you want to sell it, you get a big premium. We have seen that with all our investors in the last couple of years. They all doubled or tripled their investment because of this scenario where we have sold tenanted apartments after the tenant has left to people who are using these apartments to live there themselves and we got fantastic prices. So this will be the case, especially in the major cities in Germany for the next couple of years, because most of the developers who are now doing the new builds are making high class apartments, luxury apartments, because the low rents you're receiving for apartments do not justify to do any new builds that is attractive to, to low income people. Uh, we are not talking about the causes of this. this. I don't think it's going to change in the next few years, but please you as an investor focus either on the new builds I've spoken about it or on the existing apartments. And if you invest in existing apartments, the money you make is not in the, the rent, it's in when you sell the, this apartment. If you need more details from us, please contact us anytime. Uh, we're here during the Corona crisis 24 seven. And of course we do virtual tours for you. We uh, do everything with lawyers. So you don't even have to fly into Germany. You can go to any German embassy or consulate, give a power of attorney to a lawyer and they're gonna act on your behalf.